very, very cold. <laughs> It smells like seaweed out here. Oh, that's fine. Yep. All right, Captain Philip. 33 feet. Look at that sunrise. So how do you tie your rigs? How do you set them up? Show me. Just let me take off my... So you can use either a spinning reel or a casting reel, it doesn't really matter. What I like to do is I come down to a swivel like that and then maybe some 12 pound line and this right here is, you know, 10 pound main line. 12 pound line and then to a barbless jig head like that, barbless jig head with a green grub and then a little bit bigger also barbless jig head like that. And I have the bottom one on the swivel just to prevent line twist. I didn't do that. I gotta do that on mine. And you just dig it off the bottom. How'd you do this little hooky hook tie here? I didn't even do it like that. Just whatever knot works. Just do that right there. All right. And one above the other. So the little ones take the little jig and the big ones take the big jig. And that's how we catch them. What about the juice stuff? Juice. I like to use herring scent. Oh no, sorry, shrimp and krill. Just whatever, as long as there's oil on the jig. Yeah. Put a little bit on the jig. And that gets set in the water. Just helps attract the fish. What if you want the really big fish? Uh, you can use a little piece of herring on the tip of your jig. And that usually gets them to bite. And we're in 35 feet of water. All right, Let's see how it goes. How do you jig them though off the bottom? Yeah, you just drop it to the bottom and you let it flutter up and then you let it back down and they, they'll usually hit it on the fall. So 
slow, slow. <laughs> Get a bite? Are you getting bites ready? Yeah. So. Do you like nibble it or they like hook onto it real good? Uh, they, oh, fish on, there we go. So, it's, it doesn't feel big, but uh, they usually take it. They like to take it. They swallow it. But it feels pretty good. Yeah. I'll get you the... Um, sometimes you can foul hook them and you want to release those uh, because you know it's unfair to the fish because sometimes they like to go over it but usually they swim to it. Alright. Here's your net. Net. Gotta drag them off the bottom because it's set going straight down. You can't have your drag too hard either. Too tight. Too tight, sorry. Yeah, he took the small jig. He's right here, right next to the rock. That's a rock sole. I see him. He's right there. That's one of the biggest rock sole I've ever caught. Is that like much better tasting. halibut or or I mean, kind of looks like the halibut. Yeah, much better tasting than uh, than uh, sorry <coughs> farm. It's one of the biggest ones I've ever caught. That is pretty of, big. Of, of rock, so starry flounder, they usually get a lot bigger. And barbless hooks, they just come out really easily. Want to fill this up with water? Okay. You swallow it pretty good? It's just holding on to it. Open his mouth. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. <coughs> Healthy rock, so. That's pretty good. So it made a good point that we're at 60 feet of depth. Want to move a little bit more shallow. Because they're, they like to be in the shallow water, right? Yeah, because the current's pulling us out. So you want to, you want to maybe start, if it's pulling you out, start at 20 and work your way out. If the current's pushing you in, start at 50 and work your way back in. Because they can be, uh, different areas because it's you know it's a big drop off it goes from 50 to 80 feet in about a 20 foot distance so you, you don't want to there we go got another one today they're they like to hang out at 30 feet Side hooked him, throw him back. Now we're gonna throw him back. <laughs> he cannot keep. <laughs> oh my god, he's got. Ah! Spiny little guy. There we go. Look at that beauty. <laughs> yeah! You better put that away next time. Ah, get him! Get him! She be. Look like a three year old trying to pick up a fish. <laughs> Your face, dude. There she be. Talking about pollution, we got smoke coming out of that thing. This guy's pouring fumes out. Here we are worried about global warming. We are Russian spy. Yeah, F-18's rolling up on the strip. Cannot see anything though. What's that right there? See that black thing floating? We're gonna move my really. I'll nut shot you right now. <laughs> Why? Cruise control. Until we go sideways and we fall in. 
show me your soul. There it is. Looks kind of like a fish. Jigging up here. Very gently. What? Mikadano, Jack in the Box, here we go. Uh oh. What are you doing? Ah, dude. Stop. I will drain your boat. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, God. Ooh, we got some goodies. Good box. All right. Say, that's it for troop fishing? That's it for troop fishing! That's it for troop fishing! That's it for troop fishing! That's it for troop fishing. That's it for troop fishing. That's it for troop fishing. <laughs> jumping off that, that'd be pretty fun. Pretty good. Whatever tastes good, we catch it. You can try it out.